Maria. Uh, when I first got invited uh, to participate in this session, um, I started looking at situations in my life that could illustrate some of those hard truths about strategic learning. And as I reflected on my experiences, I discovered that some of my initial glitches with strategic learning go all the way back to my experience working at my father's farm in Capilla de Guadalupe in Mexico. You see, I work in my father's my father's farm. I work in my father's farm since I was uh, very young, and my father put me in charge of our milk production when I was 16 because I needed to learn about leadership. I grew up in a farm. I was I always had a fascination for computers, and I convinced my father that since we were growing, we needed software. That I'm a really young 16-year-old. <laughs> We needed software that could help us manage the 200 cows that we had at the farm so we can know when to stop milking them, when they needed to get pregnant again, and so on. What I didn't know is in, in, that the implementation of these learning system was gonna have was gonna be uh, uh, more challenging than I thought. That's the software that I that I bought. Uh, and I want to share with you today the three main lessons I learned uh, during the implementation process. And the first uh, big lesson is that strategic learning requires a tremendous cultural change. Um, organizations have been operating in a certain way for years. And strategic learning requires staff to think differently about the way they do their work. Uh, for generations, people in my father's farm and the employees in my father's farm have been calling the cows by name. They have Martha, Maria, and it, it was incredible to them that we were going to start using numbers as we were growing to start identifying the cows. So the, the smallest changes can make big waves in your organization. Uh, the, the second uh, thing I want to talk about is that there is not uh, learning without buy-in. Uh, the organization needs to understand um, the strategic learning is not there to replace the way you do your work, it's to help you do your work. So after a few months using the software, and I want to read this because I started generating very useful and relevant data and creating reports in real time that were going to help the employees. Uh, that's what happened. I sat with them and I explained to them the benefits of this new data system that we actually started using and, and generating better strategies uh, when we were milking our cows. And uh, the third lesson is to just be humble and listen. Um, you have no idea how much I learned uh, from the employees in the farm. That's my dad. Uh, in my work as an evaluator, I still feel like that's like that 16-year-old. Uh, I didn't know more than my dad about milking cows, let alone the employees. Uh, but there's one thing I do better than them, and that's asking the questions that matter and reflecting on those responses and changing the system to make it work better for them. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, and I'm telling you all this because uh, now as a professional helping foundations, I think these three ideas and these three glitches still apply to some of the uh, some of the consulting work that I do, uh, and I have three uh, really quick uh, recommendations that I want to show you today. Uh, the first one is to prepare your organization for cultural change. Uh, when you want to implement strategic learning, evaluation goes from purely just checking how are you doing things to actually learning. So it goes from accountability to learning, and that's huge for people in the organizations. Uh, connected to this idea. Uh, there is this mind shift that needs to happen, and this is the number two. And this mind shift will not happen if you don't help staff and if you don't help your board understand what strategic learning means and what are the benefits of uh, strategic learning. Because you know what? If they don't want to learn, they're not going to learn. Mm -hmm. So get your organization ready. And then the third one is that strategic learning represents an opportunity to learn from the people you're serving. Uh, talk to you, the nonprofit you're working with. Learn from the things they're doing right, from the things they're doing wrong. Ask them what they need to know, and make sure that your strategic learning approach has a way to hear the voices of those people that you're all, that we're ultimately serving. And I finally just want to tell you that I'm very excited to be here with you today <laughs> in Seattle, my, the city that I call home now, because I'm really excited to be part of this new movement 
of uh, staff and of professionals in philanthropy that are using data to make more informed decisions and help more people in need. Thank you so much.